Okay, right now we're at the Capitol. And here's Dave at the Capitol. And there's the Capitol behind Dave. And it's uh, Sunday morning. And uh, we've got more sights to see in Washington before we leave at 9 o'clock. This star is at the bottom of the Capitol, right in the center of Washington. So here we have a girl that's standing right in the center right now. take any pictures but if you like tune into C-SPAN 1 and C-SPAN 2 any time in the week and you can get to see what we saw. Anyway, we came out and uh, there's a big kind of uh, staircase, some picture with uh, I guess one of the walls of Independence or something. Okay, I just wanted Dave to take another picture of this hall. This whole thing is, is hand painted. It's just beautiful. There's just uh, it's all mural everywhere. It's gorgeous. And in fact, I think some space is left, isn't there? Oh yeah, look, there's a space here. All right, that's the space reserved for Kathy Youngblood, the first Surgeon General to come from a foreign medical graduate school. <laughs> This is the painting outside the House of Representatives hallway and upstairs. Outside the uh, representative's chamber, there's a lot of statues. In fact, in the capital, every state sent two statues. And right now, the statue here is a general from the uh, Civil War. It's a Confederate general, but Florida fought on the side of the South, of course. And uh, the other statue of Florida sent, we couldn't find, but this is the truth. It was the inventor who invented air conditioning. Most of the other statues look like this one. This guy came from, oh, what was it? Oregon. He's a guy killed in the Battle of Bull's Bluff. Actually, that reminds me of another statue. This guy here is holding a he's holding a vacuum tube. And they say he invented television. I think John Logie Baird of Britain had something to do that as, as, as well. A short history of the War of American Independence. July 4th, 1776, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. 
1777, Battle of Saratoga, the most decisive battle in the American War of Independence. 6,000 British troops surrendered, the French became actively involved and became a turning point in the war. Okay, Kathy was just reading about this painting. This is the end of the war, 1781. It's the, after the Battle of Yorktown, the surrender of, of Lord Cornwallis from England. In actual fact, he sent his second in command. So because of that, Washington sent his second in command. So neither of them were there at the end to sign for the surrender. Okay, we're back out still in Rotunda. And the painting, fresco, paint, the fresco painting on the roof was actually cleaned four years ago. There's a gallery around it which special VIPs can uh, go around. And as I say, it was uh, completely, completely redone just uh, four years ago, restored. And to give you an idea, the stars above uh, the girls' heads, until the restoration, only four of them could be seen with the naked eye from down here. But now you can see all of them, did a really good job. Just to show how times change, in 1976, the Mark's 200th uh, anniversary, Britain loaned one of the original copies of the Magna Carta, signed in 1215 by King John, and it lay here in the capital for a year. It's now back in England. <laughs> Remember, we saw in the National Archives one of the one of the, one of one of the copies of the Magna Carta. This one, we couldn't read it before, but it says, John, by the grace of God, King of England, Lord of Ireland, Duke of Normandy, and Aquitaine, and Court of Avignon. All those places are in uh, France, and archbishops, etc. And it goes on to talk about freedoms for people, which, of course, became the cornerstones of American justice. Dinosaurs Hall. The gold nugget led to the California gold rush. The Hope Diamond, the world's largest blue diamond. The star of Asia Sapphire. The Hall of Gems, a large African bush elephant, petrified wood. A lot of exhibits on uh, very early cultures, civilizations around the world. Some on the beginnings of major world religions and non-major religions. Well, we just came from the capital on the tourmobile. And we just came to, actually near the monument. Hello, honey. Yes, much better the front side. Um, so that's where we've just come from. So the rotunda, at the top of the rotunda, of course, is where those, uh, those frescoes were drawn on, painted on. And we're just going to go up behind that old Smithsonian building there. Somewhere behind there is the uh, Air and Space Museum. As you can see, the traffic's pretty horrendous. That's because everybody's going to see the cherry blossoms in the tidal basin. So I think we're going to get on a bus and go back that way, because the way behind me here, past the monument, and that way is jammed. So we're back on the bus again now. This time going eastbound. Well, maybe eventually, <laughs> once we get moving the traffic. And that's the, the park commerce over there. And behind that, of course, the, uh, the old post office building. With the Back here, I'm just looking straight down. Punching the meat. Hmm? Punching the meat. Right. Uh, can't see much details. So, all of these buildings here, it's, it's, they say it's Federal Triangle, with all the red tiles. And that's Pennsylvania Avenue, where we were just before. We were just down on that corner there, so this must be the outside the IRS, in fact. Let's be looking at the IRS. Now Pennsylvania Avenue. It's 
the capital. So far today, we, uh, you know, we went up the tower before. We like going up tall buildings, as you can see. And then we went down to the Lincoln Memorial, which is just out, out of uh, behind the wall here. And then round the tidal basin there, over the other side, round past all the cherry trees, remember? To the Jefferson. And then we came up, we saw the parade. Parade went uh, along Constitution Avenue, just a little bit in front of us. Across there is the uh, Smithsonian, the original uh, Smithsonian Museum, the red brick. And then over the years, they added huge extras. Nearly all the buildings you can see now are part of the Smithsonian. certain museums of art along here. Right in the middle of the picture there, that's the Pentagon. So it's just filling the, the camera from left to right. And it's quite a few miles away, so it's pretty big. And then over, that's over the Potomac River. And then also over the river, of course, is the airport, where we flew in by Delta Shuttle. On the hour, every half hour. That's what they say. One of the buildings on the other side of the wall is the National Air and Space Museum. So there's four parts to it. Looking, looking this kind of north, Kathy reckons that what was this place called? She says this is called like the National Cathedral or something. But it's pretty far off. Dave, if we have to move to Washington, this is where I want to move. I mean the apartment with the rooftop garden? Of course, you need a little greenery. Well, we could go for one of the uh, ones on the side. That'd be okay. I'm not picky. How much do you reckon? $4,000 a month? I reckon we don't have enough. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> So we've uh, come down from the uh, top of the old post office now and now, and there's uh, an atrium, a pretty large atrium, a couple of hundred feet high, and down the bottom is an extremely large food hall. By the way, when we were coming up, we were in a glass elevator. That's how we're going to get down as well. We had to leave the old post office tower to come and get some cash because we don't have any money left. We had to come and find a money machine. Anyway, before we go, this is where this is where we just been up. Not there somewhere. Okay, well, here we are at the Rose Garden, and as you know, I was here in 1983, and I was on the other side of the bars then. Uh, they actually let me in at that time, and we had a little to do in the garden with the prez. So you're, you're back there, on this near the steps? Yes, uh-huh. It's quite a way away. There's a lot of people here. You didn't kiss the ground when you came back, though. No, it's too cold. So Kathy may be coming to take a picture of the other side of the White House. This side's a lot closer to the road. She said it was really close. She was right.